it's Nicole here back again and welcome back to Nicole's view so I wanted to give a third this will be my third video or third update about this story about the uh, appeals court judge who was found washed up along the Hudson River it looks like they're getting closer to closing this case out um, I still find this story to be very suspicious something just seems wrong with it and even if they say let's go with this whole um, suicide thing to me, it still needs to be investigated. Who knows what was going on? There could have been anything. This woman could have been threatened, anything, even if that's the case. So, but for me, I'm still not buying it. I just feel like something is off here and I don't like the fact that how they're trying to rush through this and just kind of keep it hush hush, secret secret. Yeah, it just doesn't sit right with me. It still seems very, very odd and just all kinds of just wrong. But um, yes, unfortunately, I am reading this from the New York Post, guys, so bear with me. They are not the greatest website to quote, but this is what I found when it first popped up. NYPD closes investigation on a judge who was washed up along the Hudson River. The NYB NYPD has concluded its investigation into the death of an appeals court judge who was washed up along the Hudson River, though the case is not closed yet, officials said. The medical examiner's office still has to determine exactly how Sheila Abdus Salam, 65, died before being found by police on April 12th near West 132nd Street. The pioneering judge, who was the first black woman to serve on the state court of appeals, showed no visible signs of trauma or foul play when authorities pulled her from the river. We investigated as much as we could based on the information available, a police official told the Post, citing reviews of Abdus Salam's movements and interviews with people who knew her. The case is still open, pending a final determination by the medical examiner, the official said. While the NYPD had initially believed that Abdus Salam had committed suicide, they announced last week that they would treat her death as suspicious. Authorities still believe the judge took her own life, but sources said they won't know for sure until the medical examiner gives an official cause of death. Oh, boy. Surveillance videos taken on the day of Abdus Salam was found sh show her wandering around Harlem for hours before she eventually makes her way to the river. In one clip, she can be seen standing several hundred feet from the water. The footage was recorded at different locations between 131st Street and 140th 41st Street and showed Abdul Salam wearing the same clothes she had had on when she died. Sources later told the Post that an autopsy found water in her lungs, suggesting she was alive when she went in the water. Despite this, Abdul Salam's husband, the Reverend Gregory Jacobs, said online that he believes his wife would never take her own life. Those of us who love Sheila and knew her well do not believe that these unfounded conclusions have any basis in reality, he said in a statement last month. So there you go. Even the husband is still standing by his deep feelings that she didn't just take her life. Something is up with this story. Something clearly is up. If this woman had any type of inner demons or issues that was going on with her husband, her husband of all people, you would think, would know that would you know explain that to authorities but just if she has no history of anything i mean nothing and she just decides oh, okay i'm just gonna jump in the hudson river something is just off with this story you know it could be a multitude of reasons why even if we went with the suicide route that she was you know possibly did it you know like i said it could be anything at this point but this story just really creeps me out. I don't like it. I just feel like something suspicious happened to this woman. Hell, she could have been drugged, as I've said before. We don't know. We don't know. She could have been given anything, you know, and she could have, who knows, freaked out or whatever and whatever she was on, drugged with, and could have went in the huts and thinking she's doing something else. You just don't know. You don't know. And this story just man it just does not sit right with me and the fact that it's just being kept so hush hush and little details are coming out here and there it just looks more like a conspiracy like something else is up so i will definitely continue to um update you guys about the story and if i hear anything else you would hear it on my channel of course so yeah let's just hope something 
breaks in this case. I just don't buy the suicide thing either. It just seems too convenient. It's too convenient of, um, I guess, an excuse or reason. So, yeah. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.